Okay class, so uh, for this video we're going to be looking at forms of linear equations. Um, so this unit is about linear equations and one of the objectives for today uh, is we're going to review the forms and we're going to rearrange um, some linear equations. And the three forms were uh, slope intercept, point slope, and standard form. And note that we need to take notes for this video. Okay, so let's jump into this. So the first form and this is uh, the most well-known form, and I think you guys remember this, is y is equal to mx plus b. So we have slope-intercept form. And it's called slope-intercept form because we're given a slope, which is m. So let's write that down. m is, this is the slope. And if you remember what slope is equal to, it is rise over run. Rise over run. And on a graph, the way that we get that is by looking at how far we rise over how far we run. So each one of these uh, chunks right here is five units. So in this case, we run 5, or we rise 5, and we run 5. So 5 over 5, and in our case right here, we have the slope is 1 for this line. Okay, so that's slope, and we also have the y-intercept. So b is the y-intercept. And just like it sounds, this is where the graph crosses the y-axis. This is my y-axis, and it crosses right here. So in this case, if I count up, again, it's 5 units. So my y-intercept for this case is 5. So if I have this information, I can write my linear equation. And in this case, my linear equation for this line is y is equal to, and since m is just 1, I'm just going to use that as x plus 5. Now note that if I don't change the slope here and I change the intercept, for example, right here, I just changed the intercept to 0. So this is the equation y is equal to x. Okay, let's look at another form. This is point-slope form. So point-slope form. We're going to use point-slope form when you're given the slope and you're given one point on the graph. So let's look at an example of that. So we have, in this case, we're given that the slope is equal to 2. What's the linear equation for this? And you can see down here we're given a point. Well, we are going to say that this is my x1, and this is my y1, and here's my slope. So we're going to plug that in to the point slope form, so y minus 10 equal to, now I have two parentheses, x minus x1, which is 5. And this is the equation in point slope form. However, I can easily simplify this and put this in slope intercept form. And the way I'm going to do that is first you can see I have, I have a number outside of parentheses, so let's distribute that. So I get 2x minus 10. Now I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So in this case, I get y is equal to 2x. I'm adding to both sides. Now you can see that this is in slope-intercept form, and I have no y-intercept. So this is plus 0. My y-intercept is a 0. So let's come over here and graph this and see if that matches up. So let's do 
I rise over run. So in this case, I'm rising uh, two and I'm running one. So my slope is equal to two over one. And to make this a little bit easier, let's make that my rise instead of uh, 2 over 1. Well, that's the same thing as uh, 10 over 5. If I multiply both of those by 5. So let's look at that. If I rise 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and run 5, I get a point right there. So if I graph this, you'll see that this actually goes right through the zero point, which is my y-intercept. So these are equivalent uh, linear equations, this equation and this equation. OK, last form that we're going to learn is standard form. So standard form is written like this. It is ax plus by is equal to c. Now note that in every single one of our equations, we have an x and a y. This is my independent variable. This is my dependent variable. So we have an x and a y. And these are coefficients, my a, my b, and my c. So these are just numbers. And they can be any number. I could have 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 4 or 2x plus 7y is equal to negative 8. These can represent any number. And one of the objectives for standard form, a lot of students like to look at linear equations in slope-intercept form. So let's convert this standard form into slope-intercept form. OK, so if I'm going to do that, we have to isolate the y. We want to get the y by itself. So we're going to have y is equal to something with an x. So that's our, our goal, is to get y is equal to something. So the first step is I need to get this term to the other side. So I need to get this whole term to the other side. Now whenever you do that, if you bring a term to the other side and it's positive, well, since it was on this side of the equation, since it was on this side of the equation, it now becomes negative on this side of the equation. So I have to give it that negative sign. OK, so that was my first step. I brought this whole term. And now you can see I'm on my way to isolating my y. I just have this b right here. So what I need to do now is divide everything by b, both sides by b. And when I do that, when I do this, you can see that now I have it in slope-intercept form. It looks a little different, but that's because That's because these are written negative a over b. And since I divided everything by b, this goes away. So I get y is equal to negative a over b times x plus c over b. And these terms right here, this term is what? Well, hopefully you can see that since it's in front of my x, that this is my slope. And what is this term? Well, I hope that you can see that this is your y-intercept. So we're back to y is equal to m x plus b all right i hope you understood this video if not you can watch it again or ask me for help